Who issues the bonds? The Hungarian bonds are issued by the state-owned enterprises or, or cooperatives and the cities. Some Hungarian uh, city, the local council of the city, should issue bond. But I... Sorry. Okay, it doesn't matter. Who buys the bonds? 70 people of the people... Uh, 70 percent of the people who buy bonds are private individuals and 30 percent uh, are enterprises. Why do people, individual Hungarians, buy bonds? Because the bonds is a very attractive form of the savings. The interest rate is higher than the real sav the average savings rate. And what is the size of the bond market relative to the Hungarian economy in total? The bond market is uh, very small in the Hungarian economy, so the average percent of the savings uh, in Hungary is four, five percent from the salary and only one percent is uh, in bonds. And how fast has the bond market been growing since it was recreated? It's growing very rapidly, very fast. Uh, in this year the bond market was doubled. The turnover and the issue was doubled in this year. Why was it necessary to recreate a bond market? Because you didn't have a bond market for many years under socialism. So why is it necessary to recreate it? Yes, because we would like to help uh, the creating of an efficient economy and we need a better allocation of the capital which is in Hungary. And the bond market is help the allocation, the reallocation of the capital and help the structural change in the Hungarian economy and it's very necessary for us. Could you explain that a bit more about why, why, how the bond market helps run the economy more efficiently? Yes. The enterprises, for example, every Hungarian enterprise has right today to go on the money market, on the bond market. They can decide about the bond issue uh, free. They don't need a permission from the Minister of Finance or from the bank. They can go on the capital market. Uh, and if the enterprise is efficient, and if the people think that this enterprise will be efficient in the future too, the enterprise can sell the bond and the people like buy the bonds. So uh, on this way only the best enterprises has possibility to get resources without the control of the state administration and the banks. What is the effect on inefficient enterprises of the bond market? Uh, they, have, uh, they cannot go on the bond market because for example our bank, the Budapest Bank, we don't organize bond issue or we don't underwrite bond issue for the, these enterprises which are not able for us to go on the market. Or the second way, the people don't buy the bond of the best of the worst enterprises. Do you why you recreated the bond market? Why not recreate a share market? We try to recre recreate a share market too. It exists a small share market in Hungary today too, but it's limited. Only the institutional investors has right to buy shares. The private individuals no. Uh, but in this year, the government decided. Uh, to recreate a small private securities market which are between the bond and the share. Every enterprise has right to issue so-called non-voting shares or preferred shares and they can sell these shares for the employees. Is it rather difficult ideologically for many people, particularly in the, in the party, to accept the idea of a share as such? It's difficult to, to tell the idea, of course, uh, but not only ideologically. So in 40 years we uh, didn't have a share market or we didn't have a bond market. And of course every new thing is uh, difficult to tell. Do people find it difficult to understand how markets work after not having them for 40 years? I think uh, the Hungarians are... are uh, agreed with the bond market and the share market, uh, with the share market and they try to understand it. Of course, 90% of the people or 99% of the people today don't understand it exactly. But they will learn it, I'm sure, if the market is attractive and if it's good for the people. Are there, are there people who oppose the, this general trend towards market mechanisms in Hungary? 
Sorry, I didn't are, understand are exactly. Political opposition, I mean political opposition, opposition, any significant political opposition to the recreation of market yeah. systems like the bond market? Yes, it's very, very difficult to say because, by my opinion, there is uh, not an open opposition. Every, if you if you ask every Hungarian, agreed with the reform, but of course there is a debate uh, how to make the reform, which which way is the best to to make the reform, and so there is op opposition with some concrete questions. For example, the bond market. Too. And what is the opposition saying about that? For example, some banks has no interest uh, to create the bond market in Hungary because they have no possibility to go on the market, they have no branches, or they are too small to go on the bond market. Of course, they don't like the bond market, and they say, no, we don't need it, uh, it's part of the old system because we know it. So it happens sometimes. And now, is there anybody in Hungary who's saying this is a return to capitalism, this is the beginning of a return to capitalism, that's a bad thing? I think, uh, no. I think it's not the question of the capitalism and the socialism. Uh, we decided to create a socialist bond market or a socialist capital market. And by my opinion, it's a technical thing. And technically, uh, we need this system to, to make our economy, uh, or the efficiency of our economy higher. And if the people understand that it's uh, not a political thing, it's only a technical thing, it's a financial, fin financial thing. Uh, we go, we can go under green light. What is the difference between a socialist bond and share market and a capitalist share and bond market? Of course, technically, there is no difference. There is no difference, and we don't need difference. So it's, uh, I, I said, there is no socialist bond market and no capitalist bond market. There is only a bond market, and we create a bond market. Why is the bond market needed here? So we need the bond market to, to promote the creating of an efficient economy uh, and to help the better allocation of the capital in the Hungarian economy. Because if the market, if the capital market helps to allocate the capital, it's always better for us when the state administration allocates the capital. It's more efficient. Right? It's more efficient, yes. Than, than the centrally planned system. It's, uh, yes, in the detail, it could be more efficient than the planning system. In the past, has there been any ideological opposition to shares, or the idea of shares? Can you explain that? Yes, it's very difficult to say what is an ideological opposition. Uh, by my opinion, uh, we, have, we hadn't ideological problems with the share. We have technical problems uh, with the share market, and there is an op opposition. But nobody say ideological reasons. Everybody say technical reasons. But are some people actually opposed, really, in their hearts on ideological grounds? By my opinion, no. By my opinion, no. If you ask the Hungarians, everybody agreed with the share market and the bond market.